Hi, this is Mike at Cleveland Aircraft Tool, and I wanted to do a quick video to show how dimples should look when they're completed correctly. Now, you notice that I am talking using a piece of aluminum as a reflection here, and what I'm going to demonstrate is how you can use something straight, like this roof truss, to see how a, an impression in the aluminum here, you can see around the hole that Vans has pre-punched, has left a slight divot and it bends the reflection around that hole. So if it was perfectly flat, like it is out in the middle here, you can see that the roof truss is perfectly straight. And then as you, as you move it around, you can identify dents by using that reflection. So these dents are concave, um, because they're punched from this top side of the skin. And if I flip it over and do the same technique, you can see that it pulls um, the image of the, the truss over to the hole, which means it's a convex um, impression. So um, this is how the skin would look when it comes. Story of my life here. Sorry, that was the compressor running, obviously, and it's kind of the way things work around here. I can't shut the compressor off or it shuts the machine off, and if I try and do a perfect video, it never gets published. So here, we're just running with it. Now, hopefully you could see what I did the first two times is I underdimpled it. I underdimpled it, and then I underdimpled it worse. Uh, I, I loosened it up. So you can see that it made that dimpled impression uh, in the aluminum, but it's still distorting the material. Now the way our spring back dies work is they have a convex surface here and a concave surface here, which preloads that aluminum so that when it bounces back, it bounces back to being exactly flat. So then the next thing I did is I preloaded the squeezer uh, so that when I, when I had nothing, no material in there, it still flexed the yoke. And now I put material in there, it flexes the yoke even more. You really want the maximum pressure that you can get on the dimple dies. Now when you go back and look, you can see how using that reflection, there's very, very little distortion around the dimple. In fact, if the dimple wasn't there, it would still be a straight line around there. So that's what you want to look for when you're dimpling. When you dimple all the the dimples in a skin, the skin should just look like a mirror with some dimple holes in it, not, not like it's been distorted. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to do these other two dimples one more time. Because you can tighten them up. 
even if you use bad dies, which come from other companies, uh, you can go back with our dies and you can tighten the dimples up and put that spring back angle in there and you can clean that up a bit. Um, so when you're done, you have a flat skin. And then when it sits out in the sun with its paint on it, it looks flat rather than being all distorted. Thanks for watching.